So the rest of the Ed Sheeran song, Thinking Out Loud. Um, no, we did the chord progression for the intro verses and choruses, which is... <laughs> Now we're going to do the other bit. So there's a pre chorus bit which goes, uh, People fall in love in a mysterious way. That bit. Um, so up until that bit, the whole song has been that previous chord progression D, D over F sharp, G, A. And then at this bit, which I'm calling the pre chorus, it goes into what I just played. Okay, so what that is, your rhythm hand will be doing exactly the same thing. This pattern of one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four, as shown in the video one. Um, chords, E minor, A and D. Let's go through that line first. So you've got a bar of E minor, one and two and three and four. And then a bar of A7 and D in the same bar, and they're spaced out as the chords were in the verse and chorus. Um, you've got that one and two and three and four. And so the first chord, A7, one and two, and then you go to the D on the end of the two. One and two and three and four and four. So that's the first line. And plucking wise, this time I'm doing thumb and three fingers rather than just two fingers. And for the E set, sorry, for the E minor, thumb on the low E string, I've got my three fingers on the A, D, and G strings. But you don't have to, you could have them on the next set of strings. sound, which is the D, G, and B strings, but I just prefer, I just prefer that sound. So I've got my thumb and fingers all on adjacent strings. So on the E minor, it's those strings, one and two and three and four. On the A7, again, all adjacent strings, I've got my thumb on the open A string, first finger on the D string, second finger G string, third finger. And then when I get to the D string, well, it's a four string chord, so I've only got four to choose from, really. My thumb on the D string, three fingers on the top three strings. Okay, and then the next line. Baby, just a touch of my hand. That's even simpler because you've just got a bar on E minor, one and two and three and four. Seven. Then the third line. Me, I fall in love with you every day. I don't know the lyrics exactly, but close enough. Uh, so this line, same um, same uh, sequence as the first line. In terms of you've got three chords, one bar on the first chord, which is E minor, one and two and three and four, and then you've got an A seven and a B minor. And the spacing is the same as in one and two and three and four. And you go to the B minor on the end of the two. And with this B minor, you know it's a bar chord. And you know it's a A-shaped bar chord. It's the A minor chord played with other fingers. So your first finger could do the work of the nut. And there's your B minor. It's a five-string chord. So I'd be plucking. A string, D string, G string, and B string. Or I could move my fingers up to the top three strings, but I'm going to stick to the middle four strings. And then if I do stick to the middle four strings, if you don't like bar chords, you don't actually need to do one. You could make that A minor shape with your fingers two, three, and four. And the first finger could just fret the A string. So that my hand is in that position rather than rather than a bar like that. My first finger is just doing that. And then I just play the fretted notes. 
Okay, so that's the third line. And then the fourth line is once again E minor for one bar and A7 for one bar. And then you might want to just pluck on the first beat of the bar. One, two, three. And then here's the little line. Take me into your love. And then you're back into that chord progression. The D, D rest sharp, G, A, because that's the chorus. Then, once you've gone through uh, the chorus, however many times that chord progression happens, um, you'll be able to see in the chord and lyric sheet. Um, and then at the end of the chorus, you've got this. Cause with you, we found love right where we are. Okay, so quick chord changes. One and two and three and four. So those chords are B minor, then you go into A, and I would do a bar on the A because I've already got my second finger in the second, sorry, I've already got my first finger in the first fret, barring as it happens, first finger in the second fret, sorry, barring, and so I'm just going to move it down to the D, G, and A, and D, G, and B strings. So there's my B minor, A, then G, and again just doing, uh, just fretting one string and just fretting low E string with my second finger. Um, in terms of fingers, I'm plucking using my thumb and all three fingers, or first three fingers, plucking the middle strings, the A, D, G, and B string, the B minor, same strings for the A chord, same strings with my fingers for the G chord, but low E. Then, so we've got, then we've got this chord, and the D over F sharp. Now if I played my G with one finger, with my second finger on the third fret, I'm just going to move my second finger down to the second fret, and then put my third finger on the second fret of the G string. And I'm going to then pluck the low E with my thumb, the A, D, and G strings with my fingers, three fingers, but the A string will probably, and it actually sounds better if it is, will be muted with the underside of that second finger. Yeah. So I've got so far. One and two and three and four and, and then you've got one and two and three and four, which is A, sorry, E minor, A7, D, and the timing of that is 1 and 2 and 3 and 4, and so the E minor to A7 is very quick, 1 and 2, 1, 2, and 3 and 4, and 1 and 2, and 3 and 4, and so the E minor is on beat 1, the A7 is on the end of beat 1, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4, and, and the D is on the end of beat 2, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4, and, and I think it might repeat. And then you're back into a verse. Okay.